I'm ready. Okay. Is the 2024 Chevy Traverse perfect for your next family vehicle? I'm standing in front of the completely redesigned 2024 Z71 Traverse. This thing is sexy. The very first generation to have a Z71 package. It has the beautiful badging, red signature Z71 tow hooks, and look, can we take a moment of appreciation for this grill? I love it. It is rugged, it is masculine, and it turns this car from a normal crossover into a sexy, bold SUV. I just went from khaki pant wearing mom status to cool mom status in this car. I love it. The Z71 package comes with 18 inch wheels that are all terrain tires, which is going to have so much more sporty feel to this vehicle. You're going to get an additional inch of ground clearance and improved suspension and handling with this car. You still can trailer and tow up to 5,000 pounds with the Traverse. In the front seat of the 2024 Traverse, Mama has everything at her fingertips. We have the 17.7 inch screen, which is tilted towards the driver so that I'm not distracted and fumbling around. We have our climate pulled out here, which is a must for me. We also have a wireless charging pad, a USB, a USB-C, your 12 volt. And since your gear shifter is up here and no longer right here, taking up all this space, we have your side-by-side -side cup holders, extra storage, and the most important thing, Chevy calls it a pass-through. Look at this. I call it a hidey hole. This is where you put your purse so that when you slam on brakes, it doesn't fly into the seat and everything comes out. Also, when you're sitting at soccer and you need to, somewhere to put your iPad, all your things right here in the hidey hole. I love buckle to drive. So this is to make sure that everyone is wearing a seat belt. So the car will not go into gear until the driver and the passenger are buckled in. In addition to that, it will lower the sound of the radio to remind you, hey, there's something important. Buckle up. So many road deaths can be avoided if you just wear your seatbelt. Traverse is equipped with Super Cruise. This is the second generation Super Cruise. So when you're in traffic and you hit the Super Cruise button to set it, this is going to light up and let you know it's engaged. I can just sit here with my hands in my lap. It works if you're trailering, if you're towing, and it has the automatic lane switching capabilities, which means if the car sees that you're in traffic and it needs to switch lanes to get you in a better position, it does it for you. That's what I call a mom missile. In the second row of Traverse, I am enjoying a ton of leg room. This RS trim features this beautiful red stitching, which I'm a big fan of, NC State girl for life. And you have your climate back here, two cup holders for your passengers. I hate it when it's in the door because you slam the door and the bottle falls out all the time. You also have your USB-C charging port, your 12 volt plug, and heated seats for the passengers in the second row and in the first row also has a heated steering wheel, which I forgot to mention. Again, this pano sunroof lets in a ton of natural light. When you're kicking it to carpool, you can enjoy the premium Bose sound system that I just discovered. So you can bump your beats in carpool. There are tons of ways to configure your car seats in Traverse. It is equipped with Smart Slide, which means the touch of one button and this thing will come forward, tip down, and you don't have to uninstall the car seat to get people into the third row. Also, if you're in the third row and you wanna get out, there's a button right here that will release the seat so you can crawl out the side. I love it. I'm gonna get into the third row and show you how much room I have back here with two car seats installed. In the third row of Traverse, Everything back here is perfect for a family with two kids that fight about everything. You have two air vents, one for each child, two cup holders on each side, and USB-C charging ports on each side. This car is also equipped with Smart Slide, which means when I hit this button to let myself out of the third row, this car seat is gonna tip and slide. Jumps right out of my way with a car seat installed so that you can easily exit the vehicle. The cargo area is plentiful. This vehicle, to me, I call it a baby Tahoe 
but it has almost as much cargo room as its sister vehicle. And there's no more kick. This is a pre-production vehicle, so it doesn't have all the things turned on that I need, but has auto sense. So if you have the fob on you and you're in the proximity, if you're in the area, after a couple seconds, it will just open for you. So much space in Traverse. Check this out. The third and second rows will lay totally flat with the push of a button. And look at all that space. It's huge in here. I don't know what I could do in here. Probably hide from my kids. Another hidey hole. Look at all that storage. You can put so much in there. And for all your tailgating dreams, you have AC plug back here and cargo hooks so you can organize all your groceries. Really, this car hasn't missed a beat. It has everything. And the styling is so sexy. Look at these lights. I love this detail. Most of the time, the back of the car is kind of forgotten, but they nailed it on the front and the back. Let's go look at the front. Look at the styling on this all new, totally redesigned Traverse. This grill is so rugged, manly. I love it. This does not look like a crossover to me, and it certainly doesn't look like a family hauler. It looks like a really awesome SUV. You have the black badging and beautiful LED lights on the front and the back. For more fun and family car reviews, follow the Carolina Car Mom.